Hello YouTube, yes. Once again, welcome to the depression. This is Discovery World Channel. For some time now, we have been discussing on how you can build a free energy network. Last week, we talked about the different components of free energy network based on the question that was asked by Mr. A. Jackson. We explained different components and how you can make your free engine to work. Uh, I also made a comparison of the motor and the, the design of the motor and the automator. And I also explained to you the why some automators are being used for a particular purpose and why others are also not fit for that purpose. And I'm going to do a review as I also told you. And I'm going to answer your questions uh, or, um, based on the review. Rather than send it to WhatsApp, I will always go to review and then look at the questions and then use your question to do a particular explanation in a practical form so you can get it. Now, I went through these questions, this review, and I understand some questions. First of all, this one is from Nagiti. He asked how much, I think she means how much, because I saw how much, but it's how much current produced. This is referring to this uh, energy, how much current produced. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Alaji, uh, Mr. Lagiti. This energy system is used to explain different comparison, how you can build, how you can combine different automata to produce your energy. For instance, this we explained was about uh, the 80 kVA. We are explaining how you can combine different automata using one single motor. It was a very a good explanation on how you can combine different alternators using one single motor to produce a high voltage uh, frame generator and that is where we have this one. Then the second person here is uh, is from one Carlix Carlo Carlos Carlo asks Sir what type of motor did you use for this project? That is, is it referring to this project? I say, what kind of motor do I use for this uh, project? And that is where today production is going to be. Uh, today I'm going to talk how to select your motor for free engine generator. Now, it is very important for you to understand that it's not every motor that is fit for a particular production. If you want to produce energy generator, you must be selective of the type of motor you use because the motor is the engine room of that energy. If the motor is not where, uh, where it, uh, it was not where selected, you will not have the type of voltage or current you want. That is where some people have issue. So it, you must select a type of motor. For instance, this kind of energy, which it was done, uh, it was a combustion of using a uh, combustion from petroleum generator to fuel generator. And this is just a 3 kVA generator. And I've explained in details a last pollution. And I'll still go back and tell you that if, for instance, now you have this kind of, uh, have this kind of, uh, you have this kind of energy. Now, this is 3 kV, for instance, just like the first one you saw is a kV. You cannot use 1.5 uh, kilowatts motor on this. 3 kV. Why? Because 
this is only 1.5 kilowatts and this is 3 kV which is almost 50 percent of the total consumption production rate of this uh, motor of some generator now if you use this uh, motor on this or what you're going to have now is just 1.5 and remember the alternator will not give you complete 3 kV it may always go with the uh, 2.9 or the about or 2.95 so if you subtract the power voltage of 1.5 from the 3, uh, 3 kVA you only have 1.5 or less than 1.5 now what are you expected to have a reserve current for any other purpose so you have to reserve so for instance you're not going to use complete 1.5 to maximum because even the coil might not give you that full water so now if you use this one you have if you use this one on this you just only have half to zoom then which one will you remain that you're going to use for your house that is where the problem comes now so he always advise you not to use this one because this one can go for this one because this is about 15 kilowatts which is very high so even if you subtract if, you subtract, if If you subtract, if you subtract 15, uh, if 1.5 kilowatts from 15 kilowatts, you're still having up to 13.5 uh, kilowatts, which is also enough. So you can also reserve maybe say five uh, works out, and then you still have 13 kilowatts, which can able to run the area of things you want, AC, refrigerator, and other. So that is what do now. If you want to use this kind of system, you go into volt because volt now is a little lower. And that is when we talk about the DC motor because the DC motor deals on volt as direct current. So you go for it. When you go for it, the power consumption will be just very minute, very small. Maybe maybe that is 50 watts or sometimes 100 watts, so it will be very low. So you can still have reserve enough to power your appliances in the house. So this is essential for this uh, going for a vote. You don't go for bigger uh, motor on a smaller uh, uh, generator or alternator. It is not advisable because it will consume almost all you are uh, current on each operation so you go for something lower so like now this is just a 12 volts uh, DC motor which is also enough now let's go back to your question now your question now is what type of motor do you use for this project the type of motor you use here is a DC motor yes it's a DC motor the type of motor we use in we use in this in this project is DC motor because the DC motor give us the low voltage, give us a low consumption uh, voltage system, which means we, we don't need to we, there is no much because this is just a three kV generator, so the DC motor will carry something almost 50 k 50 watts, so we still have almost. Two on two thousand nine hundred and fifty watts reserve of electricity to be used. So the other use here is the DC motor. Now the next question is how many HP of a DC motor can turn one thousand eight hundred alternator? How many? Oh, say I I this is this one thousand eight hundred is it in? Uh, wax or is it in European? That's my question because your question is not clear. When you are uh, talking about 1800, could 1800 beat alternator uh, current or 1800 European? So you must get the system first before the question, before the answer. Because if you say 1800 alternator, so what are you talking about? Is it on terms of current or just RPM? So when we get that as a question. So now 
For, let us look at this uh, generator. You see, you can see the generator now. This is the generator and this is the motor. Now, if you look at this thing clearly, you observe that it is, it is because of the generator, the motor too is not much at that. Do sometimes you don't look at the size of the, or the size of the generator because in, in, in size, the generator can be small, but the voltage production is also high because we have a lot of technology where uh, uh, equipment are being tried to uh, uh, suppress and then to bring a higher pressure ratio. So that is it. Now, if we go to the system, you can see what a good example of this uh, high speed and motor are uh, involved. So let us go back and see this how it works. You can see the speed ratio. And it, it, because the motor, because of the, the because of the how because of the size of the motor you can see the speed at which the this system runs it runs at a very high speed why because the motor is also well fit to the system so sometimes when you have a good motor the system can always run the cause in it to the motor so that is where you see it you can see it as how fast it is and that is how it produces a very high voltage of the system. see the speed now. So this is how you select your motor. I believe I've answered the question of Mr. Carroll that asked about the motor. You can see what you can use when you want to run your, your motor. When you want to buy a you want to use a converted generator you know the type of motor to use. Thank you once again to see you next production.